This day in history, let's hit it. Here is a bulletin. This day in history. The rest of history. Got to go way back in time, all the way to June 8th, 1966. The NFL as we know it now was changed forever that day when it merged with the AFL. The announcement was made this day, June 8th, 1966. Now, under that merger announcement, the two leagues would agree to play separate regular seasons for the next four seasons from 66 through 69, with 1970 being the first year that they would merge into one uh, American and National Football Conference. So I could go on with some of the more backdoor details, but on the phone, Rich. Well, yeah, we've got somebody who knows about that day very well because yes. he was one of the members of the National Football League organization to hand out the press release of the merger. He also happens to be currently the senior advisor to Commissioner Roger Goodell of the National Football League. Welcome back to the Rich Eisen Show, the one and only keeper of the flame, Joe Brown. How are you, Joe? Rich Eisen and Chris, how are you doing? June 8th is uh, always a big day here in our office because it's uh, merger celebration day. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> we Every year we invite those AFL uh, staffers and execs who were <laughs> in the office in 1966. We invite them over here for a celebration. And the number keeps dwindling, but uh, it's still a big day here. Well, if your recollections of this day uh, back in 1966 would be what, Joe? Well, I, was fin I had finished my second year in college, and uh, it was just a, a day like any other day, Rich. Uh, and then Jim Kensel, who was uh, Pete Rozelle's right-hand man, uh, called me and uh, Peter Hadazy, who went on to become general manager of the Browns, and called us into his office about 4 o'clock and said, all right, this is the press release that we're going to give to Associated Press and United Press International. We want to do it at the same time. Uh, and I want you, Peter, to go to AP, you, Joe, go down to UPI and 42nd Street and call me when you get to the sports desk so that the drop of the release is synchronized. We do it at the same time. And uh, so we did that. I, I argued right away with Hadazy. Why did I have to walk all the way to 42nd Street when he <laughs> just went across Rockefeller Plaza to, to 30 Rock? Mm -hmm. But, uh, but uh, we did it. And... Uh, we had a press conference that night at 6 o'clock, and uh, Pete Rozelle, Lamar Hunt, God bless him, Tex Schramm, they were the negotiators who, uh, who did the deal. And what's interesting, uh, Chris and Rich, is that there was no contract. Someone asked me, do you have a copy of the contract that was signed? I said there was no contract drafted at the time. It was just notes, and each of the individuals trusted the, uh, the integrity of the others. And... Uh, and as Chris said, that was a big, big day uh, uh, in, in, NFL, uh, uh, in NFL lore. So there's no document anywhere? Well, no, no, no. I'm saying at the time. Oh, okay. At the time we announced it. Sure. Uh, we, there was no contract. It was just notes. Uh, uh, Kensel and uh, Roselle, Lamar and Tex had been in Washington the night before, uh, stayed up late uh, the morning of June 8th to, to draft the press release. And then they came up to New York uh, for the 6 o'clock press conference. But I remember Pete telling me that he called CBS uh, just before 6, called CBS. Bill McPhail was in charge of sports at the time. CBS was carrying our games, and he told them the news. Um, there had been speculation, yes, but nothing like speculation is today with social media, with sure. NFL.com, even God, with podcasts. But it, it was... <laughs> Just, you know, idle talk at the time. And then Roselle called Bill McPhail and told him what was going to happen. And McPhail said, you got to be kidding me. Uh, and uh, Pete wasn't. And, uh, hmm. and uh, we went from there. Joe Brown joining me here on the Rich Eisen Show from uh, NFL headquarters. Uh, the, uh, the intern who handed in the press release to UPI announcing the merger that happened 49 years ago today joining me here on the program. Before I let you go, is there anybody that you could recall um, at, or found out subsequently on either side that was not happy about this, that was just, that, well, that needed to have their arm twisted going into this? Well, the, the number one guy was uh, Al Davis mm -hmm. because uh, he wanted to keep fighting the, the war, the seven year war, started in 1960, now we're 66. He wanted to keep fighting it. And he had been excluded from all the merger talks between Lamar Hunt and Tex. And then he found out that, number one, there was going to be a merger, and number two, Pete was going to be the NFL commissioner, Al being the AFL commissioner uh, at the time. And I really think that was, that was the root of uh, all of the subsequent problems that uh, we had with Al, the litigation, 
uh, and everything, all the other negative uh, events that occurred, that, that Pete became the commissioner and Al made a good deal for himself, too. He went back to Oakland, became, became an owner, and, and won a few Super Bowls. Now here we are entering the year for Super Bowl 50, Joe. Huh? Incredible. It's hard to believe. I, w I was thinking this morning, Rich, I know I was trying to think of a gift that I could give you. I know that, you know, 40 is ruby and 50 mm -hmm. is gold. Yes. And, but 49, it's, I, I couldn't find out what do you give for a 49th anniversary. I don't know. Uh, Could, should we look, can we look that up right now, Chris Law? Yeah, Let's you can, that you can look it up. If you find it, you're better than I am. Well, I, I think we're going to look for it right now. I don't know uh -huh. if there is such a thing. Oh, you, you've already looked it up, huh, Joe? Well, and I didn't, go, I didn't do an extensive search, the okay. type of... I don't have the staff that you have on the, <laughs> on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. In the meantime, Joe, thanks for taking the time and, and recalling this day 49 years ago today. Good man. Take care. You bet. Same to you. That's uh, so a Joe Brown. You can follow him. He's an hey, excellent you. follow on Twitter, at NFL on the Hill. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On Audience.